just want to take you guys down here. There's dozens of people outside on the sidewalks just trying to see what's going on. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. They're just trying to see what's going on out here. But there's actually another house that's on fire as well. This is the home that was on fire when we first arrived to the scene. Break this down for our viewers. Since 1973, 372 people have been sentenced to death in Georgia. And tomorrow, another execution is scheduled. 42-year-old Marion Wilson was just executed less than an hour ago. He lost his life at 9.52 p.m. Visited three out of the five gas stations that were shut down and those three gas stations were back up and running but I'm actually here at one of them off of Sparta Highway and they're currently closed. Well you guys one person is dead tonight and it all started when a shed caught on fire at this home right behind me. Now fire department was headed to the scene and that's when 55 year old Michael Snyder ran into that fire truck in a head on collision. Bribery, tax evasion, money laundering. Those are just a few of the charges that a Bibb County deputy is facing tonight. Community members are scared and they're frustrated. 20 year old Randon Hogan lost his life here today and community members tell me that the violence needs to stop. This area of the apartment complex is still without power. I actually want to take you guys inside. We're going to turn off the light on our camera so you can see exactly how dark it is. Just within the last hour, another pedestrian was hit right here on Napier Avenue and Brookdale Avenue. Animals that were suffering in Monroe County had no place to go because the animal control was shut down. Now, these documents from the Georgia Department of Agriculture break it all down. 21-year-old Logan Jones passed away on this very street earlier today, but the community is already showing support. His body was laying on this street earlier today, just about three hours ago. As you can see right behind me, there's a tree down on this entire street. Check this out. This security device right here has actually three cameras inside. You can see that someone has left a candle on the scene to remember Danny and his life. If you or anyone you know knows what happened to Danny or any information. Reporting in Milledgeville, Jayla Woodfilm, WGXA News.